I thought it would be easier if I got everything ready for this video, you know, like I usually do, and have it on a pile down here. But look how empty my shelf is. Hello there, it's Friendly Neighborhood Nerd, Tori here. How are we? I hope you're all doing well. So, this is a new series, I think we're going to call it, that no one asked for, no one requested, but you're having it anyway. I just thought you guys would be interested in it. Um, so it's gonna take up, you might wanna settle in for the long ride because we're gonna be here for a while. Um, not only just in video, but in series wise, I have decided to break it down. As you can tell, we are doing my Winnie the Pooh collection. And I think you guys all know this is a big, big thing. Um, so I've tried to break it down for as small as we can. So it's not here for like, a two hour special um so for this i will only be doing winnie the pooh we're only we're only going to be doing this guy um because i do generally co collect the entire hundred acre wood gang but obviously pooh is the main guy my main man um so we're only going to be doing um his stuff obviously if i was here doing everything winnie the pooh piglet tigger eel we'd be here for a while so it's only going to be pooh but that's not to say that I don't have stuff for the other guys. I think you all know that. Other thing I've done to break it down is each episode, each part, each whatever we want to call it, is going to be on a different part of the collection. So as you can tell, for today's video, we're focusing on plushies, which is quite a big, a big amount. I will let you know that. I will. I've also just stretched the term plushies a bit just to include some other bits that I didn't know what else else to include them in. So I think we'll start off with them first. So I think without further ado, because this video is going to be long enough, we don't want to have a long intro. Let's get on with the video. So yeah, first I'll start off with the bits where I've stretched it a little bit. Pillows. I didn't know what else to include this in. Um, I have two lots of Winnie the Pooh bedding as well, but I'm not going to be including them because no one wants to be sitting here going through my bedding. But pillows are different. They're different. Um, so yeah, I thought we'd start off with them. So I've got this one. I got it off of a Facebook um selling group and as soon as I saw it I actually no I didn't intend to get this I didn't know the lady was selling it I went to buy a plushie off of her one you'll see coming up in the video and I had already previously bought some Winnie the Pooh stuff off of her I was buying this guy who is kind of rare um and so she kind of worked out that I was a Winnie the Pooh collector and she said I've also got this I need to get rid of it so she chucked it in for free it's a pretty good deal um so yeah but yeah basically I did get this off of Facebook selling group it's in the cute shape of a heart and it says love is a big hug it's poo i'm i don't know too much about it i don't know what year it is or anything but i'm guessing it's a disney store it looks like a disney store kind of thing or a disney parks kind of thing it hasn't got any tags on it or anything the back is plain but i'm guessing it's a disney store kind of thing i'm guessing it's from like a valentine's day release but it's so soft it's so nice also from that same uh girl off of facebook i got this um on a separate occasion <laughs> A cute I don't even know what kind of shape to describe it it's just like a puffy cuteness um and it is from Disneyland Paris lovable I think that must have been a collection I wasn't aware of it in the parks um but I'm guessing that must have been a collection they must have done other characters in it but what I so I don't know what year this is from but I c can tell you from just my little bit of nerd nerdiness you notice how it says Disneyland Resort Paris that is Paris's old name. Disneyland Paris has actually had three names in its existence. It opened up as Euro Disney. That only lasted a few years. It then changed to Disneyland Resort Paris. And then after about, I think it was like 10 years, they dropped the resort and just became Disneyland Paris. So by the fact that the pillow does say Resort Paris on it, it kind of gives away to me that it isn't like a newish product. But yeah, it's so cute. And again, it's really soft. I love it. And then the, the final pillow is one from Primark. I think a lot of you guys have this one as well. He is so cute and fluffy. Yeah, he's from Primark. He's so cute and his ears are... And he matches in with one of my bedding sets I've got perfectly. I think you just seen it in my birthday haul, the yellow one. It goes in that so well. So with the pillows, I do have some Christmas pillows as well, but you'd have seen them in my Christmas Winnie the Pooh collection special that I did back in December, which I will include in this. I'll make this into a little playlist so you guys can catch up on all my collection. Um, so I'll leave that actually up here. So if you are watching this in the future, there's probably more episodes out. So go check it out. Anyway, moving on, I think next to 
I'm going to do next because they're a bit different. I made them myself, but they're still plushies, so they're still included. I think we'll start off with this guy. I did do a um, video on him, um, making him, which, if I remember, I'll leave it in the description down below. My good friend Sarah, she lives up um, north, so we we haven't actually met. We've been friends for like two, three years. It's crazy. Um, but me and her became friends through Winnie the Pooh, actually. We both love him. And then we just became like inseparable. She's like a sister to me. Shout out, Sarah. Um, and so she said she found this in a charity shop as a little kit. They sew your own Winnie the Pooh. She saw it, thought of me. And she sent it down to me. And one day in the post, I got this guy turn up. And he was so hard. You'll see in the video, he was, the instructions. I'm a sewer. I do lots of sewing. You guys know that. I like to make my own clothes and stuff like that. I struggled with him. He was so hard to make. But I did it. I did it. He came out cute. Um, so yeah. Thank you, Sarah. Shout out you. And the next one is a bit floppy. This was my 2020 lockdown project. I knitted my own Winnie the Pooh. He is not the best. He was like my first proper like big knitting project. I've only ever done like small different things. This is my first like actually time like making something to assemble. I've only ever kind of done like flat pieces before. So I think for my first attempt, it didn't turn out too badly. I have actually got another Winnie the Pooh knitting project on the go at the moment. I've actually just got my knitting bag just out of camera. Shout out the cruise bag. Um, I'll actually just show you the pattern quickly to show you what I'm making. It's so much more compact. Com complex um pushing myself out of the uh, comfort zone with knitting that's what i'm making look at him he's gorgeous um so yeah i think i'm almost done i'm almost done with his i've done all his body because it's all done let me show you the there's so many pages to this so you do each different bit in different sections i've done his head section his front section his back section he has like five different sections for his feet, I've done all of them, I've done his arms. So I just need to finish doing his side head, then I need to do his t-shirt, and then put them all together. So, I'll probably show him over on Instagram, so you don't forget to go follow that so you see him. But yeah, <laughs> this is a bit of an upgrade to this. But I'm still very proud of this, my first like, big knitting project. And he's cute, and I need to kind of readjust his head because it's got a bit floppy. I'm proud of it. Yeah, so those are the, all the pillows and things I've made out of the way. Let's go on to the actual collection bit. And I don't think this is in any specific order. I'll just grab them as I go. If I remember where they're from, I'll tell you. If I don't remember where they're from, I don't remember where they're from. We'll start off with the biggest guy first. He was just sat on top of the pile. I got him uh, from my brother. It was either for birthday or Christmas. I think it was for Christmas 2020, I think. Yeah, it's just a big old Winnie the Pooh. If you've been following me on here for a while, you know my brother does a lot of um, uh, like um, vintage stuff. He's good at charity shop hunting and uh, car boot sales and stuff like that. So he quite often finds like good dizzy finds. Me found him. Isn't he cool? It, this guy is probably I can't pick favorites out of my collection, but if I was to, he's probably up there because he was one that I was after for so long. He was like my Grail plush, if you will. He is a special edition limited edition disney store plushie for the 90th anniversary um you can see his little special plaque there i spent so long tracking him down and finding him i was seeing him online in like winnie the pooh specific groups i put my camera on charge and it always turns me blue when i put it on charge that's better um <laughs> yeah i was seeing him on winnie the pooh specific groups for like going for like hundreds plus and then i stumbled across him on ebay one day um, and the person was selling him for 50 but um, for 50 buy it now or make an offer. I tested my luck and I said £30. She accepted it. She accepted the offer in like 10 minutes. I think she just wanted to get rid of them. <laughs> so I got him and it was quite a good deal. But he's so cute. So he's got his little wellies on with some red trousers, nice little tweed jacket with his pockets and his nice little plaque. He's got a nice little shirt on and his little tweed flat cap. He's just a little British dapper gentleman. He's gorgeous. I love him. You another Disney Store special edition one. This one is a Christmas special edition. I don't know what year it is. Um, I have his tag. I don't cut off the tags of my Disney Store special edition ones. So what I 
it's like his is just still dangling under his arm but the thing i liked with this one i could tuck it into his trousers <laughs> so i liked that um yeah he's a christmas edition disney store plushie i don't know what year he was because that was before they started putting it on their feet um and i have a lot of people ask me how is he a christmas edition he just is i don't design their products i just know what it is he's a christmas edition don't ask me how or why but he is <laughs> so yeah he's just got like on some dungarees a red shirt cute little bow tie matching flat cap adorable just, i seem to be going on a run of my disney store editions let's just keep, keep going on that this is the 2021 official disney store christmas plushie it's it's different it's a lot smaller than the other ones they're getting smaller and smaller each year don't ask me why um but yeah so he has got it on his feet disney store 2021 it's in like a little baby grow thing with a little sleepy cap so cute i actually got him from the oxford street disney store it's very rare to go to a disney store nowadays obviously because they're shut um i went in november and that was when they had like all the christmas stuff just out they had a display by the door with poo with poo and it was like all winnie the poos on a display and having loads of these it just looked so cute um so yeah, Easter Poo, how cute is he? So Disney Store do special editions every year for Easter. They also do Mickey, Minnie and Stitch. Sometimes they do Angel, um, but recently they've been replacing Angel with Poo instead, um, which obviously I'm a lot happier with. So <laughs> it's Poo in a bunny rabbit costume. So yeah, it's just cute, like green color. And it does, yeah, it does have it on the feet. Disney Store 2021. And I have already ordered the 2022 Easter edition Winnie the Pooh and I have got it in my schedule to do an unboxing of him on here so stay tuned for that. Um, I think it's next week actually, I think it's this time next week. So if you're watching this in the future that will already be up to see the 2022 edition of this. Um, but I think it is the same size, it's definitely in a rabbit costume. I think it's pink or purple, I can't remember exactly. I wonder if it will be the same size, bigger or smaller, I don't know, we'll have to see. But anyway. Yeah. This is another Disney Store one, but it's no, like, it's not like a seasonal one. It was for the 55th anniversary of Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree. You can see it on there. I did do him in an unboxing because I got him with a pin and a key, also for the 55th anniversary. When I saw this plush as well, I knew I had to get it. You can kind of see on the camera. He is absolutely fluffy. He's so cute. He's just got a little bumblebee on his nose, holding a balloon. He is so cute i love him okay let's do a park one as well now so this is the disney parks official christmas plushie for 2020 and 2021 and um, they brought him back for 2021 because obviously not many people could go to parks for christmas in 2020 so i picked him up on my last disney trip he just says happy holidays little christmas hat cute and he is the size of like the big disney store edition which i'm happy with i don't know why they're making them smaller but they're keeping the park special editions a nice big size cute okay he's not a park exclusive i just happened to get him in a park i know you could get him on shop disney don't know if he's still available but that is the little big feet poo i think i got him on my last trip or the trip before no it was my last trip i got Poo on my September 2021 trip. I got him on my Christmas trip. I had been after him for so long. I just missed his initial release drop. I couldn't find him. And then I they, I found him in the Emporium on Main Street. And obviously I had to get him. I had to bring him home. He's so cute. Okay, another park thing. It has got Piglet on as well. But because it's a set, I can't really not include Pig Piglet. And I can't remember what these are called. I have to look at it every time. Uffy, I can never pronounce it, so I'll just show it to you. They're them. I have a few of these. I also have a Chippendale one and a Dumbo um, one as well up there. I always point to things and then realize you can't see what I'm pointing at. But yeah, got Pum Piglet. They're a few years old. Originally got them, they smelled of apple blossom. They don't really smell of it anymore, <laughs> but they are so cute. I think we've started kind of got in size order it's kind of going a bit smaller now so i think let's just do the teeny tiny ones teeny tiny plushies starting off with probably my teeny tiniest plushie and that's just this little poo his arms are magnetic so he can kind of cling on to things um 
I used to have him clinging onto the top of my bed frame. I've currently got an Ewok up there. You'll see it when I do my room tour. Um, but I now have him, you can see the books there. I have him sat on top of the books holding some Winnie the Pooh keychains. And so he just kind of hugs them and holds them in place. <laughs> But he's tiny. I think my mum found him in a charity shop years ago. Then the size up, we have Simpsons. They're counting as plushies, um, even though they're a whole separate collection of their own. But I think I have already done a plushie, a Simpson collection on here, I think. Um, but yeah, I have two. So one is the just normal edition Pooh Simpson. Then ooh, this one is like a Valentine's Day chocolate edition Pooh. Um, I also have the matching piglet of both of them. I have normal piglet and chocolate piglet. Cute. And then we have a Cuddles. I think you might have seen him in a Shop Disney unboxing. But he's just the small size. Cuddles, I also have Tigger and Eeyore. You can just see. I just had some stuff all over. You can see the two there. You can see where he's meant to go. There is also a large version of these. They had the Tigger version in the parks but I really want the large version of Pooh of this and I can't find him anywhere. So he sometimes randomly appears on Shop Disney, but I can never, every time I go and check, he's not on there. So sad times, but I have the small one. And sticking on the small ones, but again, sizing up, we've got this little guy. He is a uh, official TY Beanie Baby. You would have seen him in my birthday haul. My best friend got him for me. He is so sweet, he's so adorable. <laughs> Um, and there was a bit of a story to go with him, but I did explain that in my birthday haul, so I won't go through that again, but if you want to know that, go check out my 22nd birthday haul. This guy, my brother, got for me. He saw him, he went on a shopping day out with his girlfriend, and they saw him, and they just could not not get him for me. I can't remember what he is. He's from a game, I think, but I can't remember what they're called. If you know, let me know in the comment section down below, I can't remember. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's from like a specific game or something. But he's he's cute either way. It doesn't matter where he's from. He's cute. Now I've got another teeny tiny one. Um, what that my mum got, my mum and dad got me as a present when they went on a day out, and they saw him. So he comes in. I can't, I'm not taking him out of the bag. It's an absolutely gorgeous bag. So it's got Christopher Robin and Pooh. Classic Pooh. And that's just exactly what he is. A classic Winnie the Pooh. He is so gorgeous and the bag is gorgeous as well. So yeah, he just sits there poking his head out of the bag. Okay, this one is probably one of my newer um, plushies. <laughs> Isn't he cool? So I go on quite often. I have only vlogged it once because you'd get bored of If I vlogged every time I went, you'd probably get bored of it. But Pooh's Corner. Um, down in Hartfield in Sussex uh, the Winnie the Pooh cafe where they also have the Winnie the Pooh walk where it's actually where it is the actual 100 Acre Woods it's called Ashdown Forest but that's where 100 Acre Woods is based on uh, down there at the cafe they have a little Winnie the Pooh gift shop and on my last time there at the beginning of December I picked up this guy they had a little bucket full of beanies um, in a sale my mum got a special edition Eeyore and I saw this guy and I just had to get him so it's just Pooh dressed up as a knight. How cute is he? And my friends were saying it's just kind of destined. There's only one of him as well, and my friends were saying that it was kind of destined for me. Um, because you know, Austin Knight, he's a knight. If you understand that, you probably know me very well, and you'll understand why that's perfect for me. Um, but yeah, it's a little knight. <laughs> and another little like dressed up Pooh, my mum got this one from a charity shop. Um, and he's got this little thing in a case that I'm not too sure what, it's just the tags in the case. I don't know why, but it keeps it protected. Um, so the collector of me is, makes me very happy. Um, but he is called Ridem Cowboy Poo. And he's by the company Starbean. I've never heard of that before. But yeah, it's just a little cowboy poo. I originally thought he was like a farmer, but then I saw the sign that says cowboy. But he's holding a flower. That's why I thought he was a farmer, because he's holding a flower. But apparently he's a cowboy. Cute. Speaking of charity shops, this is another one that my brother found on one of his hunts. Um, this Winnie the Pooh on a balloon. And let me just... I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, 
It's now going to do this for absolutely ages until the little string has gone up, which probably takes about 20 minutes. It's meant to be, you know, a child's cot. So obviously hang it up above it and lullaby it to sleep. But I have him uh, tied to the side of one of my shelves up there. I'm trying to talk over the top of it. Um, also, I don't pull this down very regularly. I just did it to show you because as you can see it's still going on it goes on for absolutely ages i only pull it down a little bit as well it can probably go out to like the length of how he is so obviously however long you need to take to get your child off to sleep but yeah he's so cute i think it's almost there i'm just this cool we're there we did it um so yeah you'll see where he lives in my room tour started again um yeah you'll see where he lives in my room tour which tr it is coming soon people keep asking me it is coming soon don't worry then we've got this little guy i can't remember where he came from he's just one of those guys that has, seems to be in my, has always been sat on my shelf um but i think he's another charity shop find you can kind, kind of tell he's more of like a different like older style one but he's still cute we love him and these next two i'm going to do together because i had to debate with my parents whether they're the same plushie or not they technically are but they're also technically not so i've had this guy for ages um i've got the matching piglet as well that goes with him because they came in like a collection together that my brother got off of a boot sale again my brother with the good disney finds so that's him his top says winnie the pooh where most of the time they either just say winnie or they say pooh he's got the full title on there and then the other week when I went to Smith's Toy Superstores to get the uh, soda pop, you can just see him there, um, because I saw on Facebook that they had them out. When I was queuing up for the tills, they had a sale on plushies. So I picked up this guy and my dad was like, you already have that one. And I'm like, I do, but it's a different size. <laughs> so yeah. I, I couldn't leave him, he was in the sale. I couldn't leave him. They're different. He's bigger. It's okay. Down to the final three. You'll be glad to hear we're almost at the end. This one I found on Facebook. I didn't actually find him in a uh, like group or anything. I just went on Marketplace and just started scrolling through all the random stuff, you know, that people in your local area are selling. And I saw this guy, a little Winnie the Pooh in a snow coat. <laughs> he is a beanie one as well. Oh, that's what his tag, so his tag is called Duffel Coat Pooh. I don't know if you can see that. I just saw him on Marketplace, someone five minutes down the road from me was selling him for like two pounds or something. So, this little guy. Um, my parents got me as a present. I think I got him for Christmas. I'm pretty sure I got him for this Christmas. But yeah, he's so cute. He's so fluffy. Um, and what I find, um, so this one and this one are pretty similar. They're more like the traditional kind of, like kind of like the live action kind of poo, but not in the fact that they're not bright yellow. They're like a creamy sort of color, but they're so fluffy. And then the last poo on the pile I got for my 21st birthday, and it's another classic style poo. And he has got a tag that says classic style poo. Yeah, so cute. He has a tag around him that says Winnie. Um, and my parents got him from like a bear adoption place so i got a little certificate saying uh uh classic Winnie the pooh has been adopted by tori and it's it was all cute and he came in like a little cute box and everything how cute is he so yeah that is the end of my marathon winnie the pooh plushie collection as i said i have got another one currently in the post i got the dispatch notice for him today of the 2022 winnie the pooh so come back next week to see him um, but yeah, for now, that is my Winnie the Pooh plushie collection. Quite a marathon. Um, but as I said, that's just the start of my collection video series. So if you don't want to miss that, click subscribe down below. If you enjoyed this video, please pop that thumbs up button. 